people always ask me what I do for a living, just like anybody. You know, you meet someone brand new at a party, and one of the first things they ask is, hey, what do you do? And I tell them that I own a cleaning company, or I just tell them I'm a janitor, and I don't even mention that I own the business, depending on who the person is. And usually they always ask me, how did you get started in this business? That's interesting. Like, why cleaning? There are many reasons I got into the cleaning business, but the number one reason was I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to know how to run businesses. I wanted to be a businessman. I don't know why, but I was always fascinated with that idea. Ever since I was a little kid, I would sell apples door to door with my friends. We would paint rocks and sell them to strangers walking by. As soon as I was like 12 years old, I begged my mom for a paper route just because I wanted to make my own money and I was doing math, trying to figure out how much money I could make and all this stuff. And I've always just had this drive and ambition to run a business. And around the time I was 21, I decided that school wasn't going to be a fit for me. Like, I wasn't going to go to college. And for some reason, I kind of knew intuitively that school might not prepare me to run a business. And it might be not the best place to put my money and my time when I was younger. And I also didn't feel like I really valued education when I was in high school and I probably wouldn't, you know, turn things around in college and I didn't want to sit through classes and spend the money and do all that if I never really appreciated school when I was younger. That being said, I I love education now and I'm all about it and I'm obsessed with it. Just the whole school system wasn't for me. And so because of that, I didn't have any options to like learn how to run a business. My only option was get a job, work my way through the ranks and maybe become a manager or something at someone else's business. Like I just didn't have any clear cut path. And I thought to myself, maybe the best way to learn about business is just by starting one. You know, you don't have to have any qualifications. You don't have to have any money. You don't have to know anybody, but you could just go down to the state and file the paperwork and start a business right there and just declare yourself a business owner. And I thought, I might be able to do that. Start at the bottom, learn what I can, and slowly build my business up. And maybe one day I'll be a real business owner. And I didn't even know what kind of business I wanted to start. That didn't matter to me. All I wanted to know was how to run a business. I wanted to be able to walk into any business and just make improvements and find out what they were doing wrong and make them better or go in and buy a business and just totally turn it around and flip it like people do with houses and i knew that you know all the concepts are probably going to be basically the same you know the services or products might be different but essentially like building value is going to be important Marketing is important. Sales is important. Delivering on the value is important. And managing the money coming in and going out is important. So if I could learn these things, it would translate into any business, any industry. You know, there'd be a little learning curve, but I would have the basics down. And the cleaning business seemed very boring and dirty. I don't want to be a janitor. I don't want to be scrubbing toilets all day. I don't want to work nights and weekends. You know, it's not a glamorous job, but it was going to take me to my goal of learning how to run a business. And so that's what I did. Um, You know, five years ago, I set out and I started my cleaning company. And I didn't know what I was doing and I failed a lot and I had to get mentors and I had to learn on the job. I pissed off some people, uh, ruined relationships with employees and customers you know, I wasn't going around doing anything unethical or wrong. It's just, it's hard to manage a business if you don't know what you're doing. And over the years, I've progressed significantly. I don't know everything. That's why I still have a very small business. And I assume the more I learn, the bigger my business is going to get. The more my capabilities, you know, are developed, the bigger and better I'll be able to manage uh, myself and my business. But I've learned the basics and I'm really proud of this because now I can walk into other people's businesses and I can find out 
you know, it's weird being a janitor, you get unlimited access to other people's buildings. It's, you know, they trust you a lot. They give you keys. They give you responsibility to come in when no one's around. And this has given me the opportunity to look at many businesses from the inside. Not in a creepy way. I never like look at anyone's files or do anything like weird or sneaky. Um, because you never know, like there's probably cameras everywhere and it's wrong, you know, but also it would be, I'd be very mortified if I was ever caught doing something I was ashamed of. Um, so anyway, but I get the opportunity to walk through people's businesses. I see all of their garbage cans. I take them out. I see their kitchens. I see their boardrooms. I see their desks. And as I've been learning about business in the background, doing my own thing, I've been able to use some of that information and analyze people's businesses as I'm walking through. And I can tell, you know, what's on their whiteboard, how much money's coming in. I can look around their office and see, hey, they just spent $1,000 on this sign in their kitchen that has their own name on it. That's not generating any revenue. That was just a waste of money. Or, hey, look, they just put in a new bar cart in and stocked it full of liquor in the kitchen. That's probably $500. They didn't bring in any revenue. And I know what kind of businesses these people have. And I have multiple customers in all the same industries. So I could see how these different offices are run. And it's very interesting because you can see a business that's bleeding money. You can kind of do a head count, see how many people are working there, what their labor costs are. You could see how they're spending their time day to day. And you could get an idea for, is more money coming in than what's going out? And if not, why? Like, what are they doing? Are they, like, are, when you go into the lunchroom, are there more beer cans and wine bottles than there are, you know, reports and projects that they're working on? And that's very interesting, because I never knew any of this stuff when I first started. I didn't know anything about business. You know, I was just in sales, and I learned a little bit, but now I feel like I could really walk in and turn a business around. I want to mention that because I'm at a customer location right now and all their garbage cans are empty. They just moved in here. They don't have any sales. There's nothing on any of their whiteboards. There's no projects on anybody's desks, but there's notes scribbled of like personal finance stuff like rent, food, car payment. It's like these people are sitting at their desks thinking about their personal finances and their personal lives. There's notes for like what to buy people for Christmas, what to buy people for birthdays. Um, sometimes you come in and they, you could tell they just had a big birthday party. So that's how they're spending their time is like birthday parties and thinking about personal things and sharing pictures with one another. And, you know, there's never anything in their garbage can that makes it look like they're being productive. And you add all that on top of they're always late paying me. And then they make it seem like it's my fault. They make it seem like, oh, I told you to send the invoice over here. You didn't do that. And I go back and check my email. And it's like, no, they never sent, told me to send the invoice somewhere else. They're just buying more time because they don't have the money to pay me, I assume. And I do fill in the gaps a lot. I don't know everything. Um, like they could be doing, for example, they might be doing a lot of digital work on their computers. I, I can't see that. And I'm not snooping, so it's like I don't know exactly what's going on. But I've been in many companies that do this exact same service. And I could see that they've got projects scattered everywhere. And they're very busy. And you could tell that there's just things going on in that building. And I mentioned all of this to say... I've learned a lot starting this business, and that is exactly what I wanted to accomplish. This is a very easy business for me to start cleaning. And I feel like I've reached the point now where I can go into different offices and I can analyze different companies just on site. And I know I'm not looking at their finances and I'm not looking at the projects they're working on. There's a lot that, I, that I'm not seeing. But there's also a lot that you get to see behind closed doors in these offices where the CEOs work and where the managers all work. You can see what's going on. You get a good feel for it. And I didn't have that ability when I first started. And so if you're thinking about starting a cleaning company, keep in mind it's not just about 
the cleaning business. It's about business in general, being a business person. And you can learn a lot. And even though it's a small janitorial company and maybe you don't have a lot of people working for you and you don't have a big shiny office and you don't have your name in a lunchroom um, with a thousand dollar sign that's custom made, you don't have all those trappings of looking successful, you can still be very successful and you can learn and take this knowledge with you to your next venture. And that's essentially why I did it is because I wanted to learn how to run a business doing something simple and easy like cleaning. I figured I could learn to clean just about anything if I just put a little bit of time into it. But then later on when I have a big idea and a big vision for something I want to do in my life, I'm going to have all the tools I need to run that new organization and accomplish those goals. And so I think I'm getting there day by day. So anyway, I don't even know what the hell the point of this whole video is. Um, but I think, I guess I'll just wrap it up by saying, I think the janitorial business is a very easy entry level type job with a low barrier to entry. And you could really make a lot of money and you could really build a very profitable, successful business. And use that information and that knowledge to do anything else later if you want to start multiple businesses so anyway guys uh, if you want to do what you want when you want how you want for who you want and how much you want subscribe to my channel and we'll see you guys next time